one of the attributes of God is love. The Bible says God is love. In another place, the Bible says God loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. That anyone who believe in him will not perish but have everlasting life. The goodness of God is expressed in a simple manner. All he wants from you is simple faith that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He came to this world to die for your sins and he rose again to justify you. Good morning. My name is Joseph Adenuga. I'm the pastor of Prevailing Church. I'm here again as usual with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to encourage you, to motivate you, and to inspire you so that you can stand strong in 2018 and make a good success of your life. Hallelujah. Today I pray that the blessings of God that makes rich and add no sorrow shall be imparted unto you. You shall be blessed. You shall go from strength to strength. God will take you from victory to victory. Your enemies shall be subdued under you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Today I continue the topic which I started some days ago, which I titled, The Rod of Your Strength. This is episode 17 of The Rod of Your Strength. You see, I take my test as usual from the book of Psalm 110 verse 2 that says, The Lord will send the rod of your strength out of Zion, rule in the midst of your enemies. Now that place is talking about a, a, a promise of God to the people, to the Old Testament people, that God is going to send the rod of his strength out of Zion. But right now we're in the New Testament, the rod of strength has been sent. And that rod is our Lord Jesus Christ. And I've explained to you what the rod is and what is resting on the rod, the power of the rod is in any of the episodes 1 to 16. This is the 17th episode. Go to our website, the prevailing, prevailing church of Christ.blogspot.com or triggersforsuccess.com. You know, download any of the episodes, listen to them, they're going to bless you. Now today I want to continue and the thing I'm considering is, what does it mean to rule in the midst of your enemies? What does it mean to rule in the midst of your enemies? Let me tell you, God is aware that there are enemies that are going to fight you when enemies come. The purpose of the enemy is to fight you, to make you to sorrow, to make you to pain, to make you to lose whatever you have. Jesus described the activities and the purpose of the enemy in the book of John chapter 10 verse 10 when he says, The thief cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So when an enemy, you see, is when you are faced with the enemy, what the enemy wants is to kill you, to steal from you, and to destroy you. You see, it is the, you know, the manifestation of the work of the enemy when you are sick in your body, when things are not going right with you, when you put all your effort to achieve something and yet you are not going anywhere. When you are in the midst of the storm, is an activity of the enemy. You see, when the enemy is operating in a man's life, sometimes he do the right things, but get the wrong answer. Because the enemies are at work, you know. And so, what does it now mean to rule in the midst of your enemies? What it actually means is what the Bible says. And that is why God said in Psalm 110 verse 2, that God is sending the rod of your strength out of Zion, and that rod has already been sent to us. And that is why, you know, to rule in the midst of the enemies means to overcome the antics of the devil, to overcome whatever the devil brings to your life. God is not saying you won't have enemies, but God is saying you will rule in the midst of your enemies. And to rule in the midst of your enemies is to overcome every attack, Whatever the enemy is planning against you, you come up on top. You come up fine. You overcome, you win, you triumph. To reign or rule in the midst of your enemies is to look at your enemies in the face and laugh at whatever your enemy does. Let me give you some instances. For example, if you are sick in your body, that is a manifestation of the enemy. 
That is the manifestation of the work of the enemy. And the enemy behind your sickness or disease is the devil. No matter how you come about the sickness or disease in your body, the source of that sickness or disease is always the devil. And so when you are sick in your body, and you stand upon the word of God, because the word of God is the rod of God, and you go to the word of God, the word of God says, by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. And it's in the past tense. Jesus came, he died for your sins, for your sickness, for your disease, and he rose again. Hallelujah. And the Bible says by the stripes of Jesus you are healed. So when you believe the word of God that you are already healed by the stripes of Jesus and you put the word of God in front or in the face of that sickness or disease and you begin to confess, I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. No matter how you feel in your body, when you maintain your confession of your healing, then as, as you continue to maintain your confession, the sickness will give way, and so you will be healed. This is ruling in the midst of your enemies. Hallelujah. Or maybe you don't have money in your pocket, but you are speaking the word of God to your life. You are saying, My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Despite your sickness, I mean, despite your poverty, despite the lack, as you continue to speak the word of God and maintain your confession, the Lord will make a way for you. The provision for your supply for the need that you have will come. And so you are going to have what you need. When you have what you need, you are ruling in the midst of your enemies. There are some people who are human enemies. Maybe they are motivated or inspired by the devil to hate you. It is one of the seven enemies that I spoke in the earlier episodes. You see, human beings can constitute themselves as your enemy. No matter how much you try to please them, no matter what you do, they don't like you. No matter how you speak kindly to them, they don't want to see you. They are planning bad for you. So when you succeed, they are paining. When you are making it, they are in sorrow. The more you succeed in your life, the more you give them problem. And so what does it mean to rule in the midst of such people? You need to succeed. When you succeed, while they are planning evil for you, where they don't want you to succeed, the more you succeed before them, you are ruling in the midst of them. So when you have human enemies, the only way to rule in the midst of them is to make a success of your life. And how do you do that? By becoming strong. The Bible says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. You see, when you get strong in the Lord, you become a success. Because when you get strong in the Lord, the power of the Lord will be available for you to make a success of your life. Whatever you do, it comes out well. Because you are not alone, God is with you. You see, you see to rule in the midst of your enemies means to succeed in the face of human enemies that does not want you to succeed. To rule in the midst of your enemies means to get what your human enemies is determining that you will not get. You see, to rule in the midst of your enemies means to do what your enemies does not want you to be able to do in your life. Some enemies don't want you to get married. There are some human enemies who does not want you to have children. You see, they use diabolical means, diabolical power to stop you. They go to which doctor to witch you so that there will be a limit in your life. These enemies have gone spiritual. They have gone diabolical. They don't want you to have the good things of life. They have done everything in their power to stop you. But to rule in the midst of your enemies means you have to go beyond what they do. You have to trust in God. You have to break the spell over your life. Every spell of bondage, every spell of wickedness, every spell of limitation, you need to arise in the Lord. Hallelujah. And break all this spell by the word of God. That is ruling in the midst of your enemies. Can you imagine if an enemy have cast a spell upon you that you should remain poor all the days of your life and you go into the word of God, you believe the word of God, you begin to act according to the word of God and you begin to succeed in your life. As you succeed, your enemy will be baffled. 
it will come to a to pass that your enemies who think that you will amount to nothing will now come to you to begin to beg. Some of them will, be, will become your employees. You employ them. You feed them. They, you are ruling in the midst of them. They have tried to stop you, but you become unstoppable. And how can you become unstoppable? By using the rod of your strength, which God has sent to you out of Zion. And that is Jesus. You see, the only thing you can do to yourself and for yourself in 2018 is to prove your enemies wrong. The only thing you can do for yourself in 2018 is to hold on to the word of God so that you can become a success in your life, so that you can rule in the midst of your enemies. God has sent the rod of your strength out of Zion. It is now your responsibility to use your rod of strength to rule in the midst of your enemies. God cannot send the rod of your strength out of Zion and also, you, you know, make you to rule in the midst of your enemies. You have to do it. God has done what he would do. He has sent the rod of your strength out of Zion. Everything that you will need to rule in the midst of your enemies has been provided for you and they are in the scriptures. Everything that you need to rule over your enemies has already been given unto you. That is why Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 says, God has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. In fact, in the book of 1 Peter, God says that he has made us to be a partaker of divine nature. Divine nature does not fail. Divine nature rules over the devil. Divine nature does not remain sick. Divine nature receives divine healing. Hallelujah. It is your responsibility to use all the spiritual weapons of warfare that God has given unto you to make a success of your life. And that is why the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 from verse 4, it said, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war, we do not battle, we do not fight after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. God has given you a weapon that you can use to pull down strongholds. God is not going to use a weapon for you. You are the one that has the responsibility to use a weapon for yourself. Many people are waiting for God, but God is waiting for them to take action. It is time for you to take action. This is 2018. Rise up now, take action. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 60 from verse 1, it says, Arise and shine. For the light, your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. It is now your responsibility to do something. God has sent the rod of your strength out of Zion. What are you doing with the rod of your strength? It is time for you to begin to win over the devil. It is time for you to begin to rule in the midst of your enemies. It is time for you to put the enemy under your feet. The Bible says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the devil, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. God has given you the power. It is time for you to begin to tread. God is not going to carry you to tread. You are the one who is going to tread. Tread upon situations, tread upon circumstances that the enemy is bringing to your life to become your enemy. It is time to rise and shine. Whoever you are listening to the sound of my voice, you can shine. You will shine in the name of Jesus. You are not poor. You may be in that situation for now. It's a temporary condition. That is not your position. Rise up from that condition and move to your position of greatness. Move to your position of success. Begin to rule in the midst of your enemies. Begin to rule over your enemies. You've got power to do it. For your God is with you. He never leave you. He never forsake you. It is time to move forward. It is time to go up. Up is your position. It is not down. You cannot remain down. Maybe somebody rejected you or somebody forsook you and you are down. You say, no, I don't know how to live my life. No, 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 no. You've got to get up and begin to live again. Hallelujah. It is not time to lose your head and to bow your head down and say there is no way for you. 
There is always a way for you. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Have you fallen and lost the way? Look unto Jesus is the way. And that's why the book of Hebrews chapter 12, unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. When you look unto Jesus, you will find a way. When you look unto Jesus, you will find a solution. When you look unto Jesus, you will succeed in, that, in the midst of that problem. That problem cannot sink you. That problem is too weak to weaken you. You are stronger than that problem. You are bigger than that mountain. Because the Bible says, greater is he that is in you than he, excuse me, than he that is in the world. There is a greater one on the inside of you. You are a thousand times greater than your problem. Face that problem. Conquer that problem. Defeat that problem. You are surely a success and it is well with your soul. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. This is where I'm going to stop. I believe this blessed you. I'd like you to rebroadcast this to somebody. Send this to your friends. Let them get blessed. And as they get blessed by you sending them, God is going to bless you in turn for blessing other people. Thank you so much. If you want to be a partner with us, you want to partner with me to send this word to more people around the world, you want to donate, go to our website, triggersforsuccess.com. By the right-hand column, there is a donation box by PayPal. Click the donation box and um, donate whatever you can on a monthly basis. It will bless somebody. Your money, send your money to bless somebody by the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And you can also go to our another website of ours, prevailingchurchofchrist.blogspot.com. Hit the donation button, donate, and the blessing will come back to you. Thank you so much for listening to this. Tomorrow is another day for another edition. Be on the lookout and you will be blessed. Once again, Joseph Adenuga, the pastor of Prevailing Church, signing out and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.